A Day at the Beach Let me tell you about a day I spent at the beach with my two children. Just listen. I went with my two children to the beach last week. It was not too crowded there. I was able to park right by the beach. We set up our umbrella and opened our chairs. The sun was extremely strong. The kids ran straight into the water. I watched them from the beach. The waves were not too rough. I had told the kids not to stay in too long. Of course, I had to wave to them to come out. We got lunch at a cafe right on the beach. Then the three of us read for a while. After that, we took a walk along the edge of the water. The rest of the afternoon, we divided between the water and taking it easy under the umbrella. By five o'clock, we had more than enough sun. The kids both fell asleep on the ride home. Now, listen and repeat. The first sentence in each pair is directly from the story. The second sentence in each pair is very close in meaning to the first one. We'll do each sentence twice. Ready? Let's begin. I went with my two children to the beach last week. I went with my two children to the beach last week. Last week I took my two kids to the beach. Last week I took my two kids to the beach. It was not too crowded there. It was not too crowded there. The crowds weren't bad. The crowds weren't bad. I was able to park right by the beach. I was able to park right by the beach. I found a parking spot close to the beach. I found a parking spot close to the beach. We set up our umbrella and opened our chairs. We set up our umbrella and opened our chairs. We put up our umbrella and set up our chairs. We put up our umbrella and set up our chairs. The sun was extremely strong. The sun was extremely strong. The sun was blazing hot. The sun was blazing hot. The kids ran right into the water. The kids ran right into the water. The children charged straight into the water. The children charged straight into the water. I watched them from the beach. I watched them from the beach. I kept an eye on them from the beach. 
I kept an eye on them from the beach. The waves were not too rough. The waves were not too rough. The waves were fairly gentle. The waves were fairly gentle. I had told the kids not to stay in too long. I had told the kids not to stay in too long. The kids had been told not to stay in too long. The kids had been told not to stay in too long. Of course, I had to wave to them to come out. Of course, I had to wave to them to come out. Of course, I had to signal to them to come out. Of course, I had to signal to them to come out. We got lunch at a cafe right on the beach. We got lunch at a cafe right on the beach. We had lunch at a little place right on the beach. We had lunch at a little place right on the beach. After that, we took a walk along the edge of the water. After that, we took a walk along the edge of the water. Then we went for a walk along the water's edge. Then we went for a walk along the water's edge. The rest of the afternoon we divided between the water and taking it easy under the umbrella. The rest of the afternoon we divided between the water and taking it easy under the umbrella. The rest of the afternoon we split between the water and relaxing in the shade of the umbrella. The rest of the afternoon we split between the water and relaxing in the shade of the umbrella. By five o'clock we had more than enough sun. By five o'clock, we had more than enough sun. By five o'clock, we were all sunned out. By five o'clock, we were all sunned out.
The kids both fell asleep on the ride home. The kids both fell asleep on the ride home. Both of the kids dozed off on the ride home. Both of the kids dozed off on the ride home. The next section of this lesson is something new called Focus on Vocabulary. I will discuss the different meanings of a particular word and you will practice a sentence for each of the meanings. The word for this lesson is believe. The sentence I believe that girl means that I think the girl is telling the truth. Repeat. I believe that girl. I believe that girl. The sentence, don't believe everything you hear, means that not everything you hear is true. Repeat, don't believe everything you hear. Don't believe everything you hear. The sentence, I can't believe you just said that, means I am extremely surprised you just said that. Repeat. I can't believe you just said that. I can't believe you just said that. The sentence, I believe it is 10 o'clock, means simply that I think it is 10 o'clock. Repeat, I believe it is 10 o'clock. I believe it is 10 o'clock. The sentence, the president believes in a global free market, means that the president is very much in favor of a global free market. Repeat. The president believes in a global free market. The president believes in a global free market. The sentence, my mother believes in angels, means that my mother accepts the idea that angels exist. Repeat. My mother believes in angels. My mother believes in angels. Now let's review the sentences containing the word believe. Repeat each one after me. I believe that girl. Don't believe everything you hear. I can't believe you just said that. I believe it is 10 o'clock. The president believes in a global free market. My mother believes in angels. Well, my friends, I believe we have come to the end of this lesson. I hope it was a good one for you. Goodbye.